Good morning, everybody. Hey, how are you doing? It's Sunday morning. Uh, we finally got into this place just right outside of uh, Amarillo, Texas. Well, not just outside. We finally got in about 8 o'clock last night. It was kind of a rough night. Uh, it's so humid here. We turn on the AC and it dump, started dumping all over uh, inside. AC's not draining properly, so we uh, had to disconnect that and go ahead and start to just using the windows. But look at this beautiful place. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. Don't get dizzy on me. I apologize for the uh, amateur sh shooting here. But check it out. Any little outhouses here, troughs for the horses. They've even got a place so that you can put your horses. I think this place was put here so that uh, people who are traveling with horses had a place to go to stay the night or to just get off the road for a while so the horses won't be so stressed. So anyways, just outside of Amarillo, hanging out here. We're probably going to take off today because I can't uh, sit in the RV with no AC when it's this humid. It just makes it miserable. I'm going to walk you over here tell you, show you our setup here. This morning we had biscuits and gravy. We got the convection oven. Right, that that port that's open right now is uh, for the refrigerator. We added another outlet to it and directed it straight to the uh, generator. So now we can have uh, we can cook our convection outside, so it doesn't get all hot inside. And the refrigerator, air conditioner, and convection go off the uh, generator. And then the rest of it is. Um, all solar, 100% solar. In fact, I'll show you a. You look at the top of the RV a little bit here. All right there, you can see the edge of a solar panel. And uh, so, what we do is we have oper for operational, we have um, four solar panels on top, which gives us 100 uh, 100 watts per panel. And then I have five uh, deep cycle flooded cell batteries. Um, each one of them have 105 amp hours on the batteries. Uh, flooded cell is not the way I wanted to go. I would like to do AGM in the future, but they're so dang expensive at this point. I just had to get going, uh, so we just we just did that. We put the uh, solar panels in a in a series and. In, in a way that we get the maximum wattage and uh, we've been running low a little bit because uh, we got to get up there and uh, clean the uh, solar off anywho um, it's been a couple days since I checked in and uh, we're just kind of chilling taking it easy down route route 66 trying to get our kicks uh -huh. the, the disappointing thing about um, flipping through here the disappointing thing about Route 66 right now is the fact that uh, that a lot of it has been swallowed up by 40, which I guess is considered historical Route 66 as well in some parts, but it's just gone by the wayside. Some of these older towns uh, got a lot of new buildings in there, and the old buildings are just just falling falling apart. I kind of wish I would have been able to see a little bit more. <laughs> A little bit more history uh, preserved but as uh, somebody pointed out to me you can only do so much with buildings they don't preserve so well all the time uh, especially old wooden buildings anyways um, just my thoughts on route 66 just uh, wanted to check in and say hi to everybody uh, I'll uh, see if I can get the uh, the name of this this place that we stayed a little bit uh, out of the uh, took us about an hour to get out of here because it's all back roads and everything so but uh, yeah the humidity here is so thick oh my goodness you can scrape it off you with a knife it's just crazy at any rate um, having fun traveling getting ready to uh, take off this morning and uh, do our thing anyways did I just say thing? Yeah, I did. Anyways, have a great Sunday. 
Blessings to you all, and uh, we'll see you on the other side of the road.